and log into my own account. Am I an admin on the on the Pop Modern account? Uh -huh. Are you? I would hope so. I think I made myself admin. I don't know. Or mod, whatever they're fucking called. Hopefully, because now you're talking about it on stream. Ah, hi. Yep. Internet. Don't look at me. I'm naked. Following. Wait, where's... Ugh, hold on. Pop Modern. Apparently, I'm not following us. Late night overwatching live. Okay. How do I watch it? Now it says we're offline? What? Are we offline? Uh, I'm streaming. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, it caught up. We're good. Uh, it's loading. It says this channel is offline now. But <laughs> what the fuck? No, maybe this is live. I can't tell. Twitch is being stupid. Get pop, modern, live. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't change anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, and okay. Yes, we are live. Okay. I am a couple seconds behind, but it's not. I just got to just keep doing what you're doing. So. Let me Wait, let me try and let me do a delay test to see if the delay thing changed anything. Because it's like 20 seconds normally, right? Something like that. Okay, I'm going to make a noise. But. Okay. Once I hear but, that's the time. It should be like 10 seconds or something. 5 to 10, I think. It's 13 seconds. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Better than the 20 to 30. Okay, right. um, so I'm 13 seconds behind. You can start whenever you want. I'll mute us. Dropped a bunch of frames, but that's where I'm going to at least try a match and see what happens. Yep. We're just going to go into it and see what happens. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. We're playing Overwatch. Because there's a beta out, and I felt it was a good thing to stream, so we're giving it a shot. Yeah, and it's been a while since we've streamed together or spoken to each other or yes. done anything. <laughs> anything, really. Frankly, yeah. Um, but we're here, and we're, we're Xander's playing Overwatch on the Xbox One open beta, mm -hmm. which is now, they just extended it a day. It's running until the 10, it's running until what, like today? Until like 10 a.m. Pacific, I think, because that was when it was oh. supposed to be today. Right. Oh, you playing Junkrat, though? No, I'm playing. Did I see that correctly? I'm playing Reaper. You're oh, you're all about Reaper. Behind. Trash boy. Oh no, no, I'm caught up. You just started. Um, so people, if they don't know, the way that we do um, um, well, Skype live streams is uh. the way we do Skype live streams is I am watching the stream, the way that a live viewer would watch it because uh, ways of doing this with less lag are uh, difficult. So this is the best, cleanest way. Um, and I don't, I don't have a lot to say live. I'm not gonna try and be an overwatch commentator here but i have played the game um i played a decent amount of the beta actually on ps4 and uh it's not my cup of tea i think it's a very good version of what it is um but i'm just like it's another it's just it's a competitive multiplayer shooter and on ps4 i don't have a lot of people to play with um and i don't like playing this type of game with a controller is what it boils down to because it reminds me um, movement wise of like quake and stuff where it's very fast and the respawns are relatively short and you're just kind of like moving or like unreal tournament more specifically and that is the type of game that i've always played on pc so since i don't have the hardware to play this it's like well i guess i just won't play it but i love watching it i think it looks great and it's very like fluid movement and stuff and all the different characters are so unique uh xander over here's been playing reaper quite a bit what the okay what happened the match ended as I got oh, no. flashbang, so I was confused. I'm a half flew off. Is so, a flashbang in this game? Uh, McCree uses a flashbang. Oh right, oh right, right, the sun thing. Yeah. I was confused for a bit because the uh, the enemies like fill up on the point was at 100 percent for like right uh, two minutes or something, and I was just like, is it gonna? Are they gonna win? Was that player on the far right, uh, was that a Soldier 76 skin? Um, 
they were like in the results screen. It's right. just like a white dude with blonde hair. I uh, probably. I missed it. I've seen. Um, oh, we're getting some artifacting. I think that just might be the stream, like internet stuff. That might be on my end. Uh, I have been dropping frames. It does. It so far looks okay. Um, I'll let you know if it gets real nasty. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the meta of this game is getting really weird just in the couple days that it's been running. Hmm. Oh shit, you are level 17. You got a lot of little ticks there to fill up. Yeah. Um, first of all, before I get to what I was about to say, the leveling thing in this game is weird. Because you just, whenever you level, you get, like, what is it, four unlocks? You get a loot box with four unlocks in it. Yes. yes. And they're always new? Is that how it works? Uh, I believe so, yes. So why does it take more XP to level up each time if you're just re-rolling the same chance every time? Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's it's suggesting that like if you play more, you'll get better stuff. But like, I guess because you're you're narrowing the pool of things you can get every time you level up. That might be it. Which means you're getting a higher chance to get the thing you really want. I get that kind of makes sense. Oh, you have a you have a traitor skin. Yes, I do. That's kind of neat. The only skin I got in the beta was uh there was one for, McCreed that was good. It was like a blue McCreed. Mm. I'm playing Bastion right now. Oh my that. god, you're the worst. There was one, thing... there was one match where I was Bastion on Hanamura where it's that one point that you like yeah. basically can't get past if there's a Bastion there and I was Bastion. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's what I was saying earlier. Like the meta of this game is getting really weird. Like it started out and I noticed like day one and two a lot of tracers. Because mm -hmm. tracers makes a lot of sense early on. Yeah. And Soldier seventy six. Because Soldier yeah. seventy six is a Call of Duty character, like that's the, the joke. basic character, yeah. Yeah, and they're the tutorial character. Um, and then Tracer just, like, makes sense for me. Like, I want to run around and shoot people and then run away and not die. Also because she's, uh, like, their main character that they're pushing. Yeah, yeah. Advertisement-wise. Totally. Um, she's even on, like, of... the title screen tile thing on the Xbox One. It's a picture oh, right, of her. yeah. Yeah, it is. On PS4, it's just the logo. Mm. Uh, you're dropping frames, by the way. I like how bad. Oh, no. It's getting, no, it's getting better. It's just it's more artifacting that keeps happening, but again, I think that's my like stream. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, you know, yeah. In the last couple of days, the the meta has switched to way more bastions. Like bastion people are just starting to complain is like broken. Um, I played a few minutes ago on a team that was four bastions. <laughs> so, you know how when you pick, a, I think this is one of the most brilliant UI decisions of the game, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, which is when you make a class decision, it tells you. Like, hey, your class balance right now is terrible. Yeah. You should fix it. That's um, what I was saying just a minute ago, where it said there were no snipers, and then we got two Hanzos all of a sudden. Yeah. People, I think it's brilliant because that, like, having the little marker come up it hits that part of people's brains where they're like, I want to make the marker go away. Like, yeah. when you get, like, a notification on your phone, it's the same thing. And the only way to do that is to play a class that maybe you don't always play. Yep. So it encourages people to keep class diversity going. I think that's a really smart decision. Keep the team balance. Yeah, and it teaches you what all of the... Because there's, like, whatever. There's, like, four classifications of characters. Um, but then there are also, like, different classifications of what each of them do. So, like, there's two builders, but they aren't labeled as builders in the game. Yeah. That's why I had to ask you earlier before we started streaming, like, who are the builders? I know it's uh, uh, the cool lady, and then there's also Dwarf Man. I don't know any of the names. Torbjorn. Torbjorn is the is Dwarf Man. I'm probably Man. butchering that. Uh, Symmetra. Samantha, yes. She's actually pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a good little spree with her the other day where I like, yeah. it was like the end of a escort round, and I had placed like, somebody had been Winston put a shield on the the objective, and it was like right at the destination. So I put like three little turrets on it, and then was shooting a bunch of people with the beam, and that managed to like, oh, yeah. get a good little spree going. If you get, if you're on a payload level, and you put a Torbjorn, uh, like, turret on top of the payload. That's a really mm -hmm. good strategy. I think people know that at this point, so they just, like, start focusing fire on it. Um, but Torbjorn good... turrets hurt like a bitch. Yeah, they do. Torbjorn turrets and Bastion turret are just, like... Yeah. That's the stuff that people feel like is game-breaking. Yeah. Because um, those, th those, especially the Torbjorn turrets, are, like, pinpoint accurate. They right. just do not miss. Yeah, exactly. And you can make a lot of them. And then the... The builder woman can like do she drops mini turrets as well so there's just a lot of encampments oh i didn't know you can make the the payload a car that's weird 
It's on this map. It's oh, I got payload you. as a car. I don't think I've played this map. That's so weird. It's I guess Hollywood. I just didn't get... Oh, yeah. I guess I just didn't get this lucky. You are kicking fucking ass, by the way. Can I say that? Thank you. Like, holy crap. I don't play Soldier 76 a lot, but he's... He's so easy. Yeah. They, like, in the... Oh, my God! Sorry, you <laughs> just killed a charging yeah. person. Yeah, you... Reinhardt. Yeah. I think in the Hero Gallery, they have little stars for how difficult it is to play each character, and both Reaper and Soldier 76 are one star. Reaper's one star? Yeah. That was the thing, when you were, like... Because he's very, pretty he's very direct damage, is the right. thing. He gets in close and he shoots people. You don't have to be I guess I, I didn't like... give him all much of a chance. I just felt he was a little bit weird for me with the whole, like, vanishing thing that he does and yeah. the teleports. Oh, uh, that's bad. That's a Discord orb. I don't want that. Oh, right. Zenyatta is a very difficult son of a bitch if people know how to play him. That's the... the that's not the tank. No, it's the, the monk robot. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, there's, Zenyatta's the one that is the hardest, and you see the fewest of, because, yeah, super difficult. Once people but, get him down, he is, yeah, like, is absolutely deadly. Deadly. oh, that's a bad news. For Reinhardt example, just I, just saw, I just saw you, well, you just killed a Zenyatta, so, mm -hmm. but, um, I thought you were referring to the tank, the lady with the pink hair. That's, uh, uh Zarya. Zarya and Zenyatta are both in the same game, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reinhardt uh, got me good. Zarya is my favorite tank to play by a long, long, long shot. She's pretty she's, fun once you get when you like stay on the front so line. So simple, and yeah, you have to just push. Um, oh, you try to hang Diva. back, and you can get taken down. Right. That's the thing, right? Is like you play, you play a character like Reinhardt for the first time, and you're like, I am invincible. I have so much health. I can uh, yeah. smash people, and then you realize, a your your hammer doesn't do that much damage. Like it does mm -hmm. a lot, but it's not an instant kill, and also. Like, two people alone that aren't even trying can take you out. Yep. You aren't invincible because you're that. I get that with Roadhog, too. Like, because his whole thing is really just pull someone away and shoot them in the face. Oh, yeah, Roadhog, yeah. Roadhog, But, like, if you get too cocky, you're done. You pull them in and they just kill you. Yeah, or if you, like, go even... into too many people. I like that, that feeling, though. I, I feel like I remember... Um, it's a weird reference to make, but back when like Gears of War came out, uh, one of the developers was saying like we were constantly getting emails. Oh, there's all the artifacting, but that's yeah, that's my stream. Mm -hmm. um, was saying that they were constantly getting complaints that every gun was overpowered, mm -hmm. uh, and they were like, if if people are telling us that every gun is overpowered, then we're doing our job right. <laughs> and if like they're, I, if they're saying every gun is too overpowered, then what can you everyone's do? Everyone's having really? fun in some way, yeah. Or everyone feels like they're wrecking or getting wrecked by something, so that means like the meta is good if everything mm -hmm. feels ridiculous. Oh, look at that Zenyatta from long distance, damn. Yeah, Zenyatta when he when he gets in a place and the person knows how to play him, he's vicious. Yeah. Um, and what I was gonna connect back to this game is like every Overwatch character handled correctly feels like a doom bringer. Oh yeah. Is that a Hawkeye? Oh my god, did I just see a Hawkeye Genji or not a Genji? What's the Bow and arrow. Hanzo. Hanzo. It like it's a fine. They're brothers. Are they really? Yeah, Hanzo and Genji oh, they're both are, Japanese. are brothers. You're right. You would know the where is the lore? Where is the lore of this game? It is on their website. Oh, okay. Because I really like the world in this game. Like I was, I talked about it on the latest episode of Fireside Friends. Actually, um, I don't usually. I'm usually not the person to bring a discussion of games.